back to a new vlog. So I thought I'd film a spring home updates vlog because I know you guys love them. I'm slowly starting to buy pieces for the house just to make it feel more springy. I feel like in between like Christmas and sort of like January, February time, I sort of took all the decks down and then everything was all a little bit bare and I ended up sort of like throwing out like my autumn decor out. I also just sort of like just pulled that together. I literally just threw some of the winter berries um, from the hallway and just mix it in with some of these. These are the faux, um, what are they called now? Sort of like Christmas tree pine stems. Um, so I ended up using them just to make it feel a little bit more sort of wintry still, um, but not festive, that makes sense. So I'm just looking forward to just moving around lots of things around the house. I've also got a couple of bunnies <laughs> ready for Easter. I picked those the other day. Um, I picked two up from Habitat in Sainsbury's. I've got a new little one as well on the console table in the hallway. I've also finally found a sideboard for the kitchen, which I am honestly so excited for. It's arriving from Olivia's. It's from a brand called Garden Trading, which is the same brand as our table, um the chairs so yeah they have so many good bits so i feel like i finally found the right sort of like size and depth for this wall um so yeah just gonna go along here i've also got a nice arch mirror so i'll be styling that and building that i think i need to assemble it so i'll be doing that in the video at some point um i feel like i'm feeling quite like springy today i've also been practicing with um overnight blowout like heatless curls in my hair so at first it was sort of like really 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 voluminous and it, but it's sort of like dropped a bit now which is quite nice so i've been experimenting with that and this jumper i've got on today is just super old it's from h&m and it's really cozy and i'm also wearing some of my new pandora bits this little chain is new i've just added my favorite little locket on i also have this locket in silver and i just think it looks so nice layered over knitwear also i don't know about you but i just love seeing a like white t-shirt poking out underneath like my knitwear for spring so it adds a nice little layer and then these earrings you would have seen these before i wore these to the elizabeth arden event i really love the little flowers i also have the matching necklace for that and then i've got some of my same rings on so this one i wear all the time this one i have in like two sizes i'm not sure if you can see there but it's like super sparkly also excuse how pale i look i need to fake tan and then i've added some little bits to my sorry i've got lots of this the only thing with this jumper is the fluff gets stuck in my jewelry so i've got this new bracelet on i'm not sure if you can see there but i've added some like little charms so this is from the pandora me collection and this little one at the bottom here is like a little um, lock it so you can put a little picture on the inside and I also love the little pearl one too so it styled really nicely I just love like little pearls I love the chains I love that you can add the um, charms onto these bracelets and I'm always still wearing as well I got this one engraved if I can sort of flip it around sorry I've done this really awkwardly so yeah I don't know if you guys remember but I went and got this little heart engraved with Hugo's name on with a little paw and I wear this one all the time now and then I've got some of my older ones in here which I wear all the time my pearl one and um, this little beaded one but yeah I just feel like jewelry just looks so nice laid up with knitwear and I really love how this little locket looks so of course I'll link my new Pandora bits below for you I am partnering with them again as an ambassador for the next three months so yeah thank you guys so much for the love and always mention and commenting to my new Pandora bits so yeah it's really nice that you guys spend the time to write a nice comment and also the brand sees that as well so which is really great because you guys know I am a Pandora lover I have been for years and it's nice to see that some of you guys are as well so yeah super exciting there I've also just had a big massive H&M home box just arrive it's just in the hallway so i ordered some new sort of like spring bits i also ordered some new like spring like linen style pajamas because i feel like i've got a lots of sort of like more cottony pajamas but i wanted some nice like shirt style ones and i've also ordered some new spring faux stems so i'm very excited to 
start doing all my styling again. I feel like I really haven't done anything to the hair since Christmas because it's just that awkward in between season. So yeah, I'll show you the stems first and then I'll unbox my big H&M home order. So I ordered some stems from a brand called Layered Lounge. So I ordered, that's where I ordered these ones um, from over Christmas. Then these Winterberry ones from a brand called Contempi. I've also had some really nice faux bits from them. I've also been looking at a brand called The Suffolk's Nest. She does really, really, really beautiful like stems and spring bouquets. I really want to find a nice like spring bouquet for the front door. I've just not found one yet. I don't want to spend like a fortune either because I've seen some really, really beautiful ones, but they're super expensive. So I did spot a really cute one in, I think it was TK Maxx the other day, but unfortunately it was a little bit battered. So it had some like neutral sort of like eggs like stuck on and they were sort of like all hanging off and were really smashed up. So I'm going to go back to Home Sense um, and Dunelm as well at some point in this video to see what new bits they've got. But I went for, I really love how these winterberry stems looked and I feel like they work for sort of like spring, but also for when spring isn't springing, <laughs> especially in the UK. So I ordered these, which are really beautiful. They really love that these little leaves look like, um, like olive tree um, sort of branches. So I ordered, I think a set of three of these and then i ordered some of these also i, just, I always find that i order a set of three because i feel like an odd number looks nice and then sometimes i'll pick up some extra stems from other places to sort of like build it up and then i ordered these ones too so i really liked how simple these ones were it's either i'm going to have these ones maybe in a vase in here or maybe these ones in the hallway so i haven't decided yet i feel like i always end up just moving everything around, having a play around, but look how pretty they are. Okay, so this H&M box is massive. I don't think I can, yeah, it's gonna be too big to pop on there. I might just put it on the floor. I ordered some PJs, so I did need a sum. And these ones are really, really nice. Very spring, summer. Um, they've got like a baby blue and navy blue pinstripe on them. Absolutely love them. These are super soft too. So I've got them in a size small that comes as a set two so those are the bottoms i actually went into home sense over i think it's the other weekend actually i've got some new candles um the uh what they call yeah sand and fog ones which i absolutely love and they had some really cute like you know they have the different like art on the lids and um, like for each season and it's got like a really cute bunny on so i'll show you them because they smell amazing because i always have a candle on there and i get through so many candles i'm always burning candles so i ordered i really wanted to do like especially for over easter i'm really loving doing baking at the moment and i wanted to have like one of the little cake um like jars um not jars sort of like covers so this is the base of it and then it's packed really well actually it's got a little glass dome lid at the top I thought it'd be nice just to put some like fresh, I don't know, muffins, cakes, maybe some cream egg browns in. I mean, they won't last long with rust, but how nice does that look? Especially over like Easter when people come over. And yeah, I thought I could do some baking and pop that on the side there. So I ordered this vase. This is back in stock now. It always sells out, but I feel like it's a little bit lower than my Zara one. But I'm also thinking to do some nice like faux like tulip stems because the brand um, Contempi have just released some, I saw it over the weekend, some beautiful tulips, some faux tulips. So I'm thinking of maybe putting some little tulips in that and putting that somewhere. I got some candles too because I needed some new like candlesticks. So I'm also gonna be filming a like spring, festive, not festive, spring table set because I love doing table setup. So I ordered some new candles, but these ones are like, they're the type of ones, I'm not sure if you can see, but they're like shiny. The other ones that I have are like matte, and I thought, because I've got some really nice like pearl edge plates, I thought all oh, the shine of the candles with some like glass holders would look really nice. And then the last two little boxes, I just love how they look, they're really cute. I've also seen some really lovely um, speckled ones as well. 
Dinat was on the Suffolk Nest. She has some really cute. So she got for a table sky. And then I ordered a new picture frame because I wanted to put some like photos, um, especially on the sideboard. I've also got a new little frame. On. I've got my little towel from the living room just there because when we go out, we've got a furbo for Hugo. And I just leave that there because it's easier. So I will move that room once we have the new sideboard. But I just wanted to have some. So I've got some like marble vases that are sort of like granite cell vases in the kitchen so i really wanted some like rustic yeah oh this is so pretty yeah so that's the frame i thought it just looked really nice with the sideboard and tie in quite nice with the kitchen i'll show you the one that i got from home sense yeah this is the one that i picked up the other day i'm not sure if you can see but it's a sort of like marble stone i really love the circle shape of it i thought together these look quite nice and you can sort of like layer them like that. And then these are the candles I picked up. So this is the sand and fog. This scent is driftwood and pineapple. And look at the lid, the little bunny. I just, they are the best candles. They smell incredible. Like for each season, I'm always like grabbing loads of their candles. That one just smells so nice. And this one was, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but it's some sort of guava mango, maybe. But look at the lid on that one. So those are the new bits. I am gonna to pop to Dunelm potentially tomorrow or the day after. So I'll bring you along with me for that. Of course, all my little bits um, I've got here, I'll link for you. And unfortunately, I wish I could link the TK Maxx stuff. I really do, but I feel like you have to just go in there and find some bits. And they always have such lovely, like especially like vases in there. I would like to maybe switch up some vases and change them to glass. Potentially on here, I don't know, I'll keep buying vases and I'm like, where's it gonna go? Um, but yeah, I've got lots of room in the house to put vases. But yeah, I wanna try and add some little glass ones because I feel like switching out like heavy vases for the glass in the spring. This looks a little bit lighter. It makes it feel like more spring too. So yeah, gonna see what I can pick up next from Home Sense and Dunelm. Excuse the fresh face today. I've got a hydrofacial appointment later this afternoon, so I need to be bare faced. My hair also needs washing. I thought I'm going to do it after the facial um, and wash my hair later on, just because like when you have a facial, um, sometimes some of the stuff just all gets in your hair, so I don't want to have fresh, clean hair. But I literally just had a big delivery because our sideboard just arrived. So it's in a gigantic box, gallery interiors delivered it this morning. I thought that we had to um, build it, but I think it's all together. Yeah. It's, it's just very heavy. As the box says, it's very heavy. It is. They were struggling to get it and off the box. If I was a kid now, this would be like a castle. They're big the box. This is a very big box. I mean, I'm sure Hugo. To be fair, the operation have got them to Normally, they get rid of the um, box the and box. stuff, so I'll have a little nose. Maybe if we get it open that up and just rip it down the side there. Yeah, no, we better probably slide out that way. Probably best to keep these on it so it slides and then we can take them off. Yeah, uh, yeah, and we'll it's maybe it trying to carry it just in case. I know. And I'll package it there because I think that's going to be right now. If there's covers on the bottom, I'll check it out. Yeah, yeah, we're up. going to put it in place. So the sideboard is going to go here. Hugo's going to be fuming because he's had two dog beds in the goals spread out here whilst we go out. So this is going to be where the new sideboard's going to go. He can have that little area by the radiator, by his food bowls. We need to also move um, this little table. It's got some of the frames that I've got for the sideboard. This table is just for the camera, basically. But do you like our little French bulldog 
statue. We got it from Russ picked it up. We went to go and see Leon and Jordan in St. Albans from TK Maxx. And we wanted like a little French bulldog ornament, but we wanted one that was like neutral. <laughs> so we found this one. I think it was only like $7.99, super cheap. Um, of course, you can tell we're French parents. So this is, it's very similar tone to our um, console table. So I was going to do like a really dark wood, um, but I didn't want it to sort of be too contrasty. And I just really love the Oakland Gallery interiors. They just have the most beautiful pieces. look it goes with the beadwall panel and the radiator so nice and it looks lovely with the olive tree and um, this table spends most of its time <laughs> covered up because of the wood I thought it's nice to have that sort of mix of woods and um, so you can sort of like see like with the chairs and whatnot but I've got a really nice arch mirror to go on there. I've also got a lamp from Olivia's, which I'll unbox and show you. But I really love the detail on the cupboard. So you can see these patterns. Just need to take this tag off. Look how deep the drawers are. So I'm gonna use this for like all my sort of charger plates and whatnot, um, napkins, um, just all the hosting bits, which are taking up loads of space in the cupboard but the quality is absolutely unreal i do have a discount code as well for olivia so i'll link it on the screen down below for you and i'll show you what other bits i've got from there but i'm super happy with how it looks i just desperately wanted a sideboard for this corner and it doesn't look like too big either we've still got plenty of room to walk around the table and whatnot we've still got room if you want to move a table um sorry move a chair if we're having people over to eat because sometimes when we have four people over to eat we tend to move like one of these to the end just so there's more space there's not like an empty chair in between us what do you think to it hugo where's my bed where's my bed gone your beds are over there is all on a package and oh my god i love it so much i really wanted something that was like rustic i just think the color of it goes perfectly with the wall the olive tree looks really lovely the radiator and yeah it's absolutely beautiful such gorgeous quality luckily i had a bulb already i was setting it up and i was thinking oh my god i've probably not got a bulb for it i bought some light bulbs um for other lamps in the house and i had one spare so i will be styling this completely i do have some little candlestick holders from them to style on here my mirror and whatnot but i've got my appointment this afternoon so i'll jump back and I finish styling it i just can't wait to get all of my charger plates out of the cupboard and into here so i'll film sorting all that i just think it's really nice when you have guests over to have like all your other placemats and whatnot i've got my festive ones i've also bought some new easter ones so at least everything can all be in here all the napkins and everything and these drawers are so deep you can fix this unit to the wall as well i've just left enough room so i can reach down the back to reach to the sockets so I've just parked up in Birmingham because I'm going for a hydrofacial. Last time I had one, I think it was around, I think it was like July last year. So I had a facial probably about six weeks ago, but just a sort of like normal like cleanse facial. And then this morning, this appeared on the side of my eyebrow. I haven't had any breakouts or spots for ages. My skin has been amazing. But I literally woke up this morning with this on my head. It's a little bit sore as well. I've tried, I've scratched it a little bit. I'm such a picker as well. I'm a nightmare. So yeah, I can't wait to just go and get my face all deeply cleansed and get all the crap sucked out my pores.
Good morning. So I thought I'd pick up the camera and show you what my skin is looking like this morning. It honestly feels and looks so glowy, so clean. I just, yeah, I can't recommend a hydrofacial enough. This has calmed down as well now. I think from having the peel yesterday might have just sapped it. There's still a little bit there, so I'm trying not to touch it, but I'm gonna go makeup free today. Um, I've just been adding lots of this. I like to use this moisture mist. It's the new skin one, and I always use it like before using my hyaluronic acid. So before you apply hyaluronic, you need to make sure that your face is damp, or either just spray on a moisture mist. So I like to do that in between like serums and whatnot, because my skin is very dry. So it just helps give my skin that bit more moisture. And if you don't damp your face before hyaluronic, that dries your skin out so I never knew that so I feel like I've only started like spraying my face and having it damp like probably the last like few weeks um because a little tip I saw on TikTok but yeah my skin literally feels so clean so glowy I'm just gonna go makeup free today because I need to clean my makeup brushes I need to have a bath tonight and scrub my face tan off so I'm looking a little bit patchy and a little bit pale but I'm going to show you downstairs now because I've started playing around with the sideboard with some new pieces and I'm also going to pop to home sense and see if I can find something so this is how the sideboard is currently looking. Look at Hugo's little dog bed down there. He has dog bed and cushions. He's got a right little den down there. Um, so yeah, these candlestick holders and the candles are also from Olivia's. They've got their own sort of like influencer collection edit um, with all their sort of like favorite pieces which they're partnering with people on. Um, this lamp's on there as well. So I'll link that little edit for you because I think it's a really nice way just to see, you know when you see something in someone's home and you're like, oh, where's that? So they do like a whole influencer roundup. So you can literally just shop things easier and find it on their website, which is a really nice idea. So I'll link it for you. And then I've got these candlesticks on here. They're slightly like pearlescent, which I really like. I've just been playing around with the picture frames. Um, I need to get some photos printed off. I do this all the time. I get frames and I leave them empty. And then I'm not sure about this book on here. I'm just having a little play here. Um, so I'm not sure when the mirror's there, the mirror's like quite big and quite tall. So I feel like that might be the statement. So I feel like because of the lamp and because of the mirror, this might be all a bit too much. So before I like, actually start getting the mirror out, I'm going to add everything into the cupboards. I'm gonna empty my cupboards and just fill that up just because I don't wanna be putting weight in there and then messing around with the mirror on the top. So I'm gonna get all the plates I need to put in here. I get all my little napkin things, place holders, napkin rings, all those little bits can all go in this cupboard. So yeah, I've been sort of like pinning some ideas on Pinterest. I'll pop some of the images in, which I'm thinking for this console, not this console, this sideboard, because it's honestly so beautiful. Like we walked in the room last night and with the lamp and everything on, it just feels so cozy. I just feel like it's really brought in, it's made it look bigger, it's so weird. It's made this bit it look bigger but it's really brought it in and nicely i also really want to get these plinths ordered for the top of the kitchen units because i feel like it looks so unfinished um and now that we're sort of like styling over here i want to try and add some more elements over here and i'm desperate to put some shelves on that wall look at my two little mother's day cards over there from hugo and one from russ um like so it says to my wife on mother's day which is quite cute um, so yeah, I do want to do some nice little shelving just to sort of add more character and tie it in. I feel like I really love this part here. Like I love the tree. This tree is off Amazon. Um, so I'll link it for you. The planter is Cotswold Company, I think it is. Yeah, Cotswold Company. And then I just use the Amazon faux bits dry. What's it called? <laughs> I don't know what it's called on the top. So yeah. Very excited to see what they have in home and sense and just see if I can create my vision. But yeah, I always end up playing with stuff for ages before I make a decision. Like I'm such a faffa. Like last night I was putting the candlesticks on there, moving them off, saying, oh, I don't know, it's the wrong book. Or it's like, it looks fine. I'm like, no, it's, I'm just, yeah, it's my, I said this before, it's my old VM in me and it drives me crazy sometimes. I'm like, no, it's not finished yet. That's why it takes me ages sometimes to sell my home content. So yeah, I'm gonna get sorted now and then see what I can grab from home sense.
Home Sense was very successful, but I ended up picking up things that I don't think are gonna go on the sideboard. So it's successful, but also not successful because I've picked up some really nice bits um, just for like mixing things up in the house. And I always tend to, when I'm in Home Sense, if I see something that I know will work, I get it and I'll just save it. And then it always has a home at some point, if that makes sense, because Home Sense, you find so many beautiful things and once they're gone, they're gone. So one of my favorite purchases was this little teapot, which looks really like sort of country vibes. I really love the speckle on it as well. It's really beautiful. But I was thinking how nice would that look when we have some shelves up there. So I always try and think of like, oh, that'll look nice there, like for my idea. Um, so yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. Also loved these faux flowers. They're like really like realistic. They're a little bit sort of like rubbery. Um, same as these as well. I wish they had more of these because I really loved these sort of like rustic style um, tulips. And I spotted these little mini ones as well, which I thought I could pop in a little mini vase somewhere. They're like a silicone rubber texture. I've never seen them like that before, but this is only $1.99, they were $2.99. And then they were $2.99 a stem as well. I also picked up some new baking trays. So I wanted some nice sort of like aesthetic style baking trays because I am going to bake over Easter. So I mean, I just want to make some of the cream egg brownies. And I also want to make some of the mini egg cookie so I am going to make those at some point then I also picked up these little arch photo frames they also have them in the black too but I thought I'd get the gold ones because I don't have any sort of gold detail anywhere I really like how these sort of ones sit they're very like I like the little window I think they're very very cute and I also got the arch ones and then I've got the square ones too the artwork is actually really pretty on the inside too um, so I just need to get some photos printed and then I picked up another candle of course honestly I'm so bad with these sand and fog candles they are the best candles I picked up the vanilla sandalwood one which I'm going to use more for I've got some eastery ones anyway so I'm going to burn them but this is like a good all year like all spring summer scent so beautiful also picked up these two vases so there's that style one and then this one but I thought for the spring I like to like mix out my vases to make it feel lighter by adding glass um, instead of like my big ceramic vases so yeah I thought I'd pick up these two both super cheap that was like 5 dollars that was 6 dollars honestly home sense is just incredible I absolutely love it and then I spotted another one of these so if you see that one over there um, that's also from home sense but it's more of like a darker marble style and I spotted this cream one I always get so many questions about that one so I thought I don't know where it's gonna go yeah it is super heavy and I also picked up this stool so I thought this would be such a nice piece to have in my studio I'm working on just making my studio feel more like style getting some nice pieces and I thought that would make a really nice little stool to sort of like film content on I could put bags on it shoes on it so this was 79 and 99 I think the longer version was around 140 I think um but it's really beautiful it actually looks quite nice styled with the chair as a little footstool no one once gets home you'll think that it's for the lounge but I thought for my studio room it's a really cool piece and I want to start picking up little finds that's why I bloody love home since so much